Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Zara's Canva Studio. I'm overwhelmed with the positive response I've been getting from you guys on my videos, and I just want to thank you all. It's encouraging and keeps me motivated to churn out a unique idea every now and again. Today, we're going to create a digital product that we can both sell on Amazon KDP, as well as on Etsy as a printable. I have shown since it's back to school season, I thought why not create a math workbook for children? There are tons of people out there that homeschool their children, so the demand for academic worksheets is huge, and it's the perfect time to get into it. Before I get into how we can make this workbook, I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button because it helps me grow on this platform, and in time, it's going to help me create more quality content for you guys. Don't forget to like and comment below too. So let's get started. We're going to use ChatGPT to help us create an outline of what we're going to include in our workbook, and we're going to use Canva to help convert these ideas into reality. So step one, open ChatGPT and give this prompt. Hey ChatGPT, I want to create a math worksheet book for kids aged five years. So I'm targeting the uh, age group of five years and above, uh, but this is just uh, you know one idea. Um, it just helps you be more targeted uh this way you can create a worksheet for two-year-olds three-year-olds five-year-olds or any age group you want so i've told chat gpt to tell me the math topics that i should cover in the workbook here's what it has come up with so these are about uh 20 topics which are counting number recognition number formation basic shapes and so on um but we're going to be more specific so for instance, I gave ChatGPT um, the prompt to tell me what to add to the counting section of the book. So give me some ideas for counting exercises in the workbook. So here's what it suggested me. Counting objects, connected dots, counting fingers, and it's also given me um, a description of what I can add to those um, topics further in counting. So let's go to Canva and let's get started. Let's get designing, guys. Also, before we go to Canva, I'm going to um, select or choose a size of um, the workbook that we're going to be creating. Uh, for children's books, like storybooks and other, um, you know, uh, fictional, non-fictional books uh, of that kind, I usually go for 8.5 into 8.5 inches. However, for a workbook, I'm going to go for an A4 size, uh, which is 8.5 into 11 inches. And the reason I'm going to go for this is um, usually, uh, you know, A4 sizes are preferred for workbooks and, um, you know, anything like that. Also, because we're going to be um, selling this as a printable on Etsy as well. So A4 size is something that is the most um, preferred. Uh, it would be easier for people to print it as well uh, as compared to 8.5 into 8.5 inches. I hope that's clear. And I also want to reiterate that... Um, these are uh, the sizes that um, we should add at least 0 0.125 into 2 uh, to the height and 0 0.125 to the width of um, our our preferred size. So let's go to Canva and let me um, explain that more. So once we're on Canva, we're going to uh, click create a design and we're going to go for custom size. And we are going to select 8.5. 625 inches of width oh, also we're going to select inches um yeah so 8.625 into 11.25 and we're going to click create a design and here our artboard is ready. And you can see that uh, it's already uh, showing us the bleed margins. And uh, you know, and you can see that through file. You can go into file and you can click create, uh, oh, I mean, view settings. And you can uh, you know, check show rulers and guides. You can show margins, show print bleed, and that's how you can see the print bleed. So you know um, that all your content, is sh uh, content should be within these margins and should not exceed um, you know, the print bleed margins. First, this is what ChatGPT suggests uh, for our first counting activity, which is counting objects. So let's do that. So, uh, okay, let's go to our artboard. And, okay, so what I want to do is I want to add sort of like a border to the whole um, page so that I know that I am 
uh, going to work inside that border. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape and I'm going to extend it to here and I'm going to select no color but I'm going to add a border of yeah um, a thickness of two so that's about it so now that we have a border we are going uh, to add our first activity and we're going to click add a heading and our first activity is counting objects. Uh, it says provide pictures of everyday objects like apples, cars, animals, and ask the child how to count how many in the picture. Uh, but I wanted to specify more. So this is the prompt I gave it. For counting objects, please give me ideas for objects and also tell me the sequence of the numbers I should do. So for counting objects, this is the idea it's given us. For counting apples, include pictures of an apple tree or baskets filled with uh, apples. Start with sequences like one to five and then progress to one to ten so this is a good idea we could do counting apples we could include an apple tree and ask the child to count how many apples so we're gonna add the text here first and i'm gonna write how many apples on the tree can you s or yeah okay how many apples on the tree and let's add this here let's change the font to veggies and let's add the effect hollow. Tree. Let's search for a tree. Now that we have searched for a tree, yeah, let's go for this one. So um, this way the child can also color it while he's doing these countings. And let's search for apple. Now let's place apples here. Hmm. Okay, so that's one sheet. Let's go for the other one now. This is counting cars. Illustrate a parking lot with different cars. Start with 1 to 3, 1 to 6, and eventually 1 to 10. Okay. Um, all right. So let's look for a parking lot. So I have put um, the busy parking lot here, and we're going to go for this image. It's there are two cars here and I'm thinking of adding a couple more, um, maybe a different kind of a car. So I'm going to go for a bicycle. So this way, okay, now let's get to the other page. So next is counting stars. Create night sky scenes with stars. And we're going to do that. We are going to um, create this night scenes. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy our outline. and we're going to paste it here. We're going to copy our heading. And the reason why I do this is so that I don't have to, you know, add a heading again and again and change uh, the font size and all. So I'm going to write under the starry night. We have three sheets ready now. And let's create another one. Copy, paste. And what is this? Counting animals. A zoo or farm with various animals. Okay.
I'm going to make it a little bigger and I'm going to change it to hollow. So this is one, two, four counting sheets. Let's add more. So guys, you can see there are a lot of ideas um, that ChatGPT has given us. I have showed you how you can do um, four of these, but uh, I am sure I've given you an idea of how you can do the rest of these as well. So I'm going to um, now go forward with the second um, activity, which is connect the dots. And this is really interesting because I'm going to show you how you can create your own. And I'm going to show you how you can do that on Canva. So here on our artboard i went into elements and i looked for fish and i picked this design and i imported it here next what i did was i went into text and i added a subheading and i put these dots for guides over you know wherever um around the outline to connect to help the children connect the dots now you must be wondering this is already traced how are they going to make it so this is where the magic happens i'm going to go to this option draw over here and i'm going to select this marker and i'm going to select the color white now i'm going to remove um color over these outlines and i'm going to remove these so this is a bit of um hard work but you know the more hard work you put in the more chances are that you would succeed so i would recommend you put this hard work and do this hard work and yeah um and you know it's going to be worth it so don't even worry about spending time perfecting this so we are going to um you know uh, adjust these numbers however i'm just first going to remove these lines or you know color over them and Okay, so once we have done this, we are going back into elements and we're going to um, select our number layers and I'm going to click show layer and I am going to firstly select all these drawings that we've made and I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to group them together um group them together and i'm going to bring them behind the numbers but above the fish uh the other thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate this and i'm gonna bring it here and i'm gonna write 13 here okay uh the other thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into elements and i'm gonna select a circle i'm gonna make the color um black and I'm going to do dots. So I'm going to place these dots wherever uh, next to the numbers and yeah, this is what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, now what we're going to do is connect the dots and find out what I am. am. Okay, now let's add this octopus here. Let's make it a little bigger. But this only has uh, six arms. I need one with eight arms. Um, this one has eight arms. Let's go for this one. Okay. So let's make this really simple. Um, Yeah, uh, so guys, you can do um, these 
connect the dot activities as well it's really easy and if you want you can add a couple more and then let's go for our other uh, activities just counting finger this is really easy so let's look for so let's look for um hands a hand count and match okay so let's do this now for this we are going to go into uh, elements and let's do vegetables so So there you go. These are some sheets that I've made. Counting the dice. Let's do counting the dice. Okay guys, so I've made about uh, nine sheets here and uh, there are more ideas of course, um, definitely more uh, things I can do, uh, you know, just um you know, by looking at these uh, ideas given by ChatGPT, you can also, like, for example, we went, uh, we told ChatGPT to elaborate more on counting objects or give us more uh, worksheets on counting. We could do the same thing with connect the dots. We can add more sheets there. And again, with counting fingers, um, you can, you know, do sheets with, uh, you know, folded fingers and, you know, how many fingers are up, how many fingers are down. Uh, those kind of worksheets with counting fingers, again, with count and match, you can do more, um, um, more, uh, other objects or elements like I did with over here we did veggies you can add um, uh, you can add fruits you can add animals and more create more of them with more numbers maybe like from 6 to 10 or uh, other advanced numbers I'm not going to be able to do that all of this in one video because it's going to make the video really long but I will continue this um, in another video maybe I can make a part series where I will uh, create all of these uh, sheets and then uh, show you how to create an Etsy thumbnail for uh, our Etsy list listing and I will show you how to list these worksheets on Etsy and how to optimize your listing as well so stay tuned for that uh, I hope you had fun making these sheets um, in the meantime I think I would advise you to create all of these sheets because it's going to take you a day or two to you know compile all of them and uh, by the time you're done I'm sure I'll be up with my video on how to upload all of these to Etsy so yeah see you then I hope you had fun